Hi everyone, I'm Di Hua from Wiser Biker. Today, I'm going to give you a review of a cycling apparel and it is from Soki Sports. Now, if you haven't heard of Soki Sports, they have a range of cycling products and in particular, they are for road cyclists. So, not long ago, Soki have sent us a pair of their cycling jerseys. Ta-da! Now, I've got a jersey here and as well as a cycling bibs. Alright, so I'm going to give you my review today on these two products and I've been using them for a couple of months already so here are all the findings I have and I will start with the jersey The model that I've gotten is the S size race fit cycling jersey from Soki It is priced at 103.99 USD which is approximately 145 Singapore dollars As for the material, it is using 80% nylon and 20% spandex now, first look, the jersey is super lightweight because it's only about 80 grams. That's by far the lightest jersey that I ever had. And if you look at the design of it, it is actually very simple. It doesn't look complicated at all. The color is a one-tone plain color and doesn't come with very loud logos. In fact, the logo is just a very small logo on the sleeve and there's a small logo at the back. The, which is something that I really like because it makes the whole jersey very very clean and neat it does come with a zip cover so if you zip all the way to the top uh, at the neck area the zip will not scratch your neck and so it adds to the overall comfort of this jersey and now if you can see the whole jersey is uniform it's made of the same material throughout so every part of your skin of your upper body skin is subjected to the same kind of comfort of this same material you no know, unlike some jerseys that will use different materials at different area it's got reflective stripes front and back so this is a three square reflective stripe in front and as well as on the back but there's also a hidden reflective fabric here can you spot it right it is right at the bottom now this is unique and let me tell you why okay it is a gripper at the back so at the back it is it acts as a gripper for the cycling jersey and it holds the back of the jersey in place preventing it from slipping on my cycling bibs but in front now the color may be very similar as a jersey so in the day it doesn't look anything special but at night once you have light flash onto it you will see that it turns into a reflective strap brilliant isn't it okay that's not all to the technology of this clothes that's just the start of it okay and the number one thing that i want to share with you is the form fitting features now i find that this jersey fits my body very well and i was wondering how did it happen and later on i realized that it's because of the form fitting features that is inside this jersey what does it mean is that the jersey the fabric will just wrap around your body like a layer of skin forming the shape exactly to the shape of your body and that is incredible because then it reduces abrasion between skin to skin and at the same time it improves the aerodynamic as i write and the next unique feature is that this jersey is super cooling now the material is very breathable if, as you can see, the breathing button has got a lot of breathing holes in it. And that means the air can flow in very easily. And at the same time, the fabric is also moisture wicking. Now, what does that mean? It means the fabric is able to absorb the perspiration from your skin and pulls them out to the outer layer of the fabric and then evaporates them to the surrounding air. So this combination of technology keeps your body cool even though on a very hot sunny day and at the same time it dries your jersey very quickly as you ride. Now for those of you who doesn't know me, I am living in Singapore which is a very hot and humid country and I usually ride at the hottest time of the day which is morning like 11 o'clock or sometimes 12. So but wearing this jersey, it, I can feel it significantly cooler than all my other jerseys. Now, if you open up the jersey and look at the inside, you will find that there are two small patch at the back of the jersey. And you may be wondering, what does these two patches do? 
Now, these two badges are actually there as enhancements to the fabric. Now, they are, they are located at the top of the junctions where the pockets separate. So this is because most of the time when we put objects into our pockets, it will stretch because of the weight, the load of the items that we put in a pocket, it will actually pull the jersey down. And because the material is stretchable, with these enhancement patches there, it prevents the material from tearing easily. So this is a very good and considerate detail put into this jersey. Now let's, let's take a look at uh, the seams where all these fabrics join. Now all these seams are very well made and there is no loose ends inside. And from my experience of wearing this jersey, all these seams do not cause any irritation to my body as I wear it. In fact, I could hardly feel their presence when I'm wearing them as I write. It's almost perfect jersey for me, except, except that yeah, there's always a little thing to add in. And that is, uh, I, would, I would prefer to have a deeper pocket. I mean, literally, I want to have a deeper pocket, but I also want this jersey to have a deeper pocket. All right, the pocket is a little bit shallow for me. I usually put my handphone at the back of the jersey, and let me show you how, how it looks like when I put my phone at the back of the jersey. Now, if you take a look at the center pocket, which is the biggest among all, it's also the deepest. It just nicely fits my phone. And as you can see, I mean, as you know, phones are getting bigger and bigger every day. So, I mean, this fits just nice, but if I put it on the side pocket, like this, it can't even cover the whole of my phone, right? And another issue with this side pocket is that the it is it is narrower than the center pocket, and it being narrower, the opening I I I've struggled at times to pick up the things from the side pocket. I have to use more effort to open the pockets to grip the things out. So imagine like I have a GoPro as I write with it's really hard to dig out the items from the pocket because of this narrow opening here. Okay, so that is one thing that I wish uh, this Soki jersey can improve on. And the next thing, I mean, the last thing that I want to nitpick on this jersey is a place to write my name. I mean, this being a race jersey, um, there'll be opportunities, there'll be times when if you're really involved in a race and especially at a, as a team race, you're going out as a team and uh, well, if you have all your jersey are being taken care by one guy who washes it for you, now it would be good to have a label, a patch where you can write your name and your particulars on the jersey itself. I mean, even for people who are not participating in race, it would be good to write your name particulars in case, unfortunately, you meet with any sort of accidents, they can still refer to your particulars on the label. But here uh, on this jersey, that is missing. So uh, if that could be added in, I mean, it's not a very difficult thing to add in and I believe that they can definitely do it with ease. The only reason that I think would discourage Soki from adding that label would probably be it will increase the overall weight of this jersey by five gram and that makes this jersey no longer super lightweight but just lightweight <laughs> next let's take a look at the cycling bib that we've gotten from soki so the fit is again a race fit okay because i'm really keen uh, to try out a race fit and see how it's different from other fitting of cycling jerseys that i've used before the retail price of this race fit cycling bibs is $89.99 USD, uh, which is approximately $125 Singapore dollars. Now the piece I've gotten here is olive green. They've just called it green, but it is a little bit olive in color. And I like this color because usually most of the cycling bibs comes in black color. Though I find that it's unique and at the same time very practical to have such a color, right? And Again, the design is very clean and neat from Soki. I really like the way that they design this series of race fit uh, cycling jersey and bibs. It's clean, it's neat, it, it does, it's not too loud. It's got a simple Soki logo on the left side, the left leg, and on the right leg, there's a small label. 
And that's about all the extra design that you see. And other than that, it's just a plain, a plain bit. At, and there is three reflective rectangle at the rear, just right at the lower back. Now this time, there's no any camouflage or hidden reflective <laughs> straps in this bit, right? And that's why I find that uh, it is when it comes to reflective uh, straps, then it is a little bit lacking on these cycling bits because let's say if I'm wearing a jersey, the jersey may cover a part of this uh, reflective rectangles and then there'll be no more other reflective parts on this bit. So it'd be good to have something on the lower part of the legs, for example. Yeah, just to add a little bit more visibility. Now this bit, is, as you can see, is actually fairly white and that means it actually spread out the pressure on your shoulder very well and when i wear it i hardly feel the presence of these bits on my shoulder actually and it's very comfortable now not only that if you if you look at it it may seem like the bit is a little bit short right if you wear it compared to my upper body it feels like the bit a bit short so when you when i wear it and i stand it on an upright posture it feels a little bit tight but that is because the, the bib is actually designed for cycling, not for walking. So when I bend down onto a cycling posture, the length is just nice. And mind you, this is a race fit. So I suppose that's why they make it in a way that it encourages you to go into a more aggressive posture rather than staying upright all the time. I can totally understand why it is designed this way because if I and wearing this and standing upright and it feels just nice then when I am riding the bike and I bend my body down then it will be too loose and that doesn't make a lot of sense when this is actually a race fit bib. Now let's take a look at the inside of these bib shorts and go straight into the most important part and also my favorite part of a bib shorts and that is the chamois. This chamois is made of high density memory foam and with a density of 100 kg per meter cube. And this density can actually last for more than 100 kilometers of continuous riding. And from my own experience, the longest ride that I use with this bib shorts is about 50 kilometers and I have no problem with it. It works very well. The Shomas was very comfortable to ride on and I'm totally confident that this can last me for more than 100 kilometers. Let us take a closer look at the stitching on the side of the Shomas. It's zigzag and this zigzag pattern actually is very secure and there's no loose end. It's really well stitched and from my experience, this stitching does not cause any irritations to my skin. I could hardly feel them at all when I'm wearing them actually. And if you can see on the front part here, there are some really big breathing holes on the chamois. And this is a really nice feature because it keeps the whole groin area cool. If you talk about the size and the shape of this chamois, here's my take, okay? I've used for like more than 10 big shorts and by far, this is the most comfortable chamois that I have ever used. It fits me very well personally, and uh, I'm very comfortable wearing it, riding on the saddle. And at the same time, if I need to walk, I don't feel awkward or any discomfort wearing these bib shorts. Now, let's think that we want to look at uh, the grippers on the trunks. And here, for this particular Soki jersey, it's got a pretty narrow gripper in my opinion. The trunks does not shift up and down when I'm wearing it. Uh, personally, I would prefer to have a thicker or, or wider gripper that will just improve the overall grip as a whole. You can also see the seams inside. They are well made as you can see there isn't any loose ends throughout. All these are very well made, very uniform. Okay, I don't feel any irritation when wearing these bib shorts as I cycle even after 50 kilometers like I told you and but it does leave a mark on my legs after after the ride so this is something that you may want to take note of and for those of you who are concerned about the durability of these cycling jerseys and bibs I've been using this for about three months and after repeated washing and drying now of course I follow closely to the instruction of how to take care in terms of washing and drying. 
and it works very well nothing come off there's no loose end it doesn't change shape and it's as good as new and the next information that may help you is that uh, my body shape and size like I am a rider of 172 cm and 62 kg so this race fit jersey of S size fits me very well as if it is custom made for me I can confidently say that if you have similar shape and size as me this would really be a very comfortable and very nice piece of cycling wear for you so here's the conclusion if cycling is your long-term hobby or at least if you intend to make it your long-term hobby then you are likely to have many many different jerseys but i think you should at least own a set of high quality and well-made jerseys like this well if you look at the price alone at about 200 usd for a set like this it may look very expensive because the market is actually flooded with options that are below 100 usd and i've been wearing those entry level cycling jerseys and bibs that cost less than 100 dollar usd but after wearing this and for three months and testing them out i can safely and confidently tell you that although the price can be double to any of them but the quality and the value that i'm getting out of this jersey is many times more now if you ask me to pay four to five hundred usd for a high quality premium cycling jersey and bits from a big brand name i may not be able to afford it but for 200 dollars and this quality i think it is a very very good deal now i'm not sure if there is any other brands out there who are offering very competitive prices at uh, and comparable quality products if you know please do let us know in the comment box below uh, for myself personally so far i've only come across soki so i strongly encourage you guys to check out their products right i hope you like our review today do like and subscribe remember to subscribe and yep whether you will get soki or other brand of cycling jerseys nonetheless i do encourage you to get a set of high quality and well-made cycling jersey and bibs because you deserve it